Hi everyone, Eric Goins from Automate Intelligently here with a quick overview and video of how to make a delivery app. This could be an Uber or a DoorDash, Postmates, um, your local grocery store delivery, a coffee delivery, whatever you are imagining. This is kind of the backbone of how that would work. I spent all day doing this, uh, building this app. Um, it's 4 p.m. here in Bangkok, and I'm going to, going to post probably, I think I have about two hours for the video. That will be on my Nodalo course, uh, where I will be posting all of these videos. Make sure you get the right plan, though, because some plans do not include the tutorials. And I will also be posting this um, template there that you can use, and I'll be improving this template over time and posting some new videos about um, you know, how to add different features and functionalities over time, but this is the base. I'll also be posting this on Udemy. So if you want to just get a more in-depth view of this app specifically, you can check that out there. When those are posted, I will put the link down below in the description. So as a quick walkthrough though, to show you how this works, uh, let's just go into our database first. We, uh, I, am, I personally always start with the database collections. In this, we have users, we have businesses, we have menu items, orders, and zones. And let's go through this in kind of my own order here, and I'll explain how all this works. So when a user logs in, we will capture whether they're a business or a driver first, and that's just a binary um, check mark for uh, the users. And if they're a business, we will create a business and they'll go down here. They will kind of create this business and go into this process. If they're a driver, they'll go into this driver process and users will go into um, this home screen. This home screen is a list of all the businesses and they can click on this and go to a business details page. This has like the business review, phone number, operating hours, and the businesses menu. The menu is pretty generic. Um, it is just, you know, an image, a price, uh, things like that. And a user can go in. I have toggle switches here. They can add these items uh, from the menu to an order. That order, um, they'll go through here. They'll add items to their cart. They'll click check out. They can see their cart here. They can add or, or they can remove items here. They cannot add items in the cart. And we have a whole checkout process here for them, including a, a Stripe component. And when they confirm this, we actually change the status of this order. So it goes to the business, could be a restaurant, could be a different type of business. And we also, um, actually we do it here. So we have a bunch of charges here. And when they submit this, we will update the order, we'll update the business, we will update the user, and we'll give them a confirmation that their order is ready to go. We have this grand um, order screen here that basically the order will flow through here top to bottom, and all of these are set to conditional visibility based on the order status. Um, so what will happen is the business will get their outstanding order here. They'll click into that and they'll be able to see all the stats about the order and the order items. And when the order is ready, they can mark that order ready for pickup. This is only visible if, if you are the business, so nobody else can update that. And what that will do is it will update the order, say it's ready for pickup. Um, and document the time that, that they completed that. That will make all of this visible. And what will happen is then this order will become available for drivers. So the drivers have a list of all the available orders here. And what they will do is they can go in and look at this and they can see um, actually when this is marked ready for pickup, what we do is we notify all the drivers, we trigger a notification and we tell them there's an available order, here's the pickup location, here's the drop off location. 
And if they click that, it will take them to this order screen. And that way they can accept the order. And once they accept that order, it will no longer be available. So it will belong to that driver and, um, and it will show up in that driver's in progress orders, okay? And once it's in the in-progress orders, then it will go through and they will pick it up and they will deliver it. Um, we have little maps here to show them uh, where to go. So they, they have a map here for the pickup location and the drop-off location. And then the driver will mark that as complete. And only the driver can do that. Okay, that was it. Very high level and very fast. As I said, I, we spent a lot of time going through this. We added a lot more functionality to it. So there's an entire way for businesses to edit their business profile. Um, they can see their menu, add and edit menu items. Um, and the last thing I'll go through is the districts. So I covered... And it's, it's pretty complicated, so it's too long for this video, but we covered how to use districts or neighborhoods um, in order to calculate dynamic um, delivery fees. So in short, basically what we, we did is we have a formula here to subtract the zones that we're doing, um, that we're delivering between, and we can multiply that by delivery fee and add a fixed rate to that because Adalo does not have native GPS right now. So that's a quick workaround. We also talked about how to use the Maps API um, for reference. So there is a Google Maps API that you can call to tell you the distance between two addresses as well as estimated time. That would be another good way to um, calculate a delivery fee based off of distance. But you have to remember the key thing being that you either charge the user up front or you charge them later. But if you charge the user up front, then you cannot include the most accurate delivery information because you're charging them before the order is even made. So you don't know exactly how far the driver will go or the amount of time. Okay, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, I'd be more than happy to answer them, but I am exhausted from making two plus hours of videos today. So going to keep this short and sweet. I will also be creating a few, much, few more tutorials this week. We're going to be doing a dating app, uh, a restaurant ordering app that's kind of like this, but without the delivery side and a booking app. If you have any other tutorial requests, let me know in the comment section below. Give this a like and give this a follow, please, if you enjoy my content.